Hi, today I want to tell you about how to sleep less and not be tired. A good, restful and restorative sleep in this busy world is what many of us are interested in. Wouldn't it be great to extend the day, because time is short for everything, but also to be sufficiently rested and energetic. Up to a certain level, the duration of sleep can be shortened without harming the body. How can this be done? First of all, take care of the quality of your sleep. Deep sleep is the sleep during which you are most rested, so you can afford to sleep less. Here are some tips. If you play sports, exercise, do it until lunch. Avoid alcohol, caffeine, and nicotine. These are stimulants that strongly activate the metabolism, thus impairing the quality of sleep. Do not use electronics before bed. Blue light from a cell phone or laptop negatively affects melatonin production. As a result, you activate your brain instead of helping it fall asleep. Start developing a habit of going to bed and getting up at the same time. This will get your brain used to being tired and signal you to go to sleep. The same goes for getting up in the morning. Make sure the temperature in the bedroom does not exceed 20 degrees or slightly lower. This is the ideal temperature for sleeping. Invest in a really good, quality mattress and allergen-free bedding. Avoid noise and light that distract you. Goal, sleep less. How to achieve this? If you are in your 20s to 30s, your sleep needs may be around 6 hours per day. The same is true if you do not exercise or do physical work. However, with age, the duration of restorative sleep increases, especially if you are active in sports and promote a very active lifestyle. According to research, 6 to 6.5 hours sleep is enough for an average person, but think and adjust the sleep time according to yourself. But what if you want to get 6 hours of sleep every night? Without shock, harm to the body and make the changes permanent? Start reducing your sleep by 20 minutes each week until you reach 6 hours. If you sleep 8 hours, the first week will be 7 hours of sleep per night. 40 minutes then at 7 am 20 minutes etc i.e. until 6 o'clock of course, if you sleep more than 8 hours now, it will take longer, but even so, it is not recommended to reduce the duration of sleep after more than 20 minutes per week. When reducing sleep duration, it is very important to monitor what is happening with your body, track your weight changes. If you notice that you're suddenly gaining or losing weight and it's not related to a change in diet, you're probably cutting your sleep too quickly. If you have an increased appetite and feel increasingly hungry, this may also mean that you are not getting enough sleep. An increased need to eat sugar can also be a worrying symptom. There may also be problems with memory, impulsive behavior, skin, visual disturbances, weakened motor skills, this also indicates a disruption of the entire process of change. Pay attention to all this, and if you notice it, then you have disturbed the process of reducing your sleep. Try to slow down. Sleep during the day. Studies show that sleeping for 15 to 30 minutes per day, we can save up to two hours. Sleep at night. So maybe it's worth sleeping at five o'clock at night and taking another half hour nap during the day. This would help you to be healthier, rested and function better. Of course, you will have to combine such a sleeping regime with your professional activities, because when you work from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. it will not be possible to take a nap during the day. But if you can afford it, try to divide your sleep into several stages. To fall asleep faster, try writing or reading something as it helps you fall asleep and relaxes you. Thanks for listening. If you like, want to hear more click, subscribe and like.